Earlier we talked about the questions at uh, depth at defensive tackle as well as linebacker. The third big question is about that line, uh, the running back room behind Nick Chubb. There isn't a lot of uh, experience. You know, you've got Jerome Ford. Andrew Barry talked about that group um, and what he expects from them. Kareem was here for, I guess, about three years, four years. Um, anytime you move on from a vet, it gives some other players a chance to step up. Um, you know, we feel really good about Jerome. He had a, a, a very strong, strong spring, particularly in his pass protection ability, the, men, the mental side of it. Um, a big reason that we, we drafted him in um, 22 was, uh, you know, because of his ability as like a receiver, uh, and we think that he'll be able to play that role really well. Um, but you know, behind Nick and, and Jerome, there, you know, there's there's going to be some competition, Tony, and um, it remains to be seen who can, you know, who can uh, emerge for that for that third running back spot. Um, but again, that's what training pit camp is going to be for. And again, so so Tim, I've heard that before. Um, the reason they draft him is pass catching ability. Everybody is questioning, do they have a guy that can catch passes? It's also important to remember, and, and I forgot this uh, earlier in the preseason, um, Trump Ford was a wide receiver in high school, so he, he can catch the ball a little bit. Yeah, you would have to imagine if you got a, if you got that kind of background, you better be good at catching the football. And uh, you know, I think I am pretty high in Jerome Ford. Obviously, he was very very good in the preseason a year ago. Obviously, didn't get a lot of opportunities because of you know who he was playing behind Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, Dearness Johnson. Now two, those last two guys are gone, and it's his turn to kind of step up. And and you know, Andrew Berry talking about you know how he had to improve the pass protection, and it seemed like he's gotten better at that. And I think that's an easy way as a running back to get yourself on the field is give yourself that ability to be a pass protector because with an elite quarterback like Deshaun Watson on third down, you're going to need to give him all the time you can, especially because he can hold on to football a little bit longer. If you have a running back that could do that and not just always going to be, you know, a pass catching option, it, you know, it, it opens, it opens options. It opens versatility. It opens, you know, the door for him to be more versatile for him to fill a different role and I think, you know, that third running back, whoever's going to be, whether it's Dimitri Felton or somebody else, maybe Hassan Hall, the UDFA they signed out of George Tech, may, it, to see who it's going to be. You know, I think it's going to be one of the more interesting battles because we have to imagine Ford is going to get plenty of carries behind Nick Chubb, who's going to need a breather. You probably don't want to give him, you know, a ton of carries as they probably had to a year ago, considering Kareem Hall was slowing down a little bit. But Ford, I think, has a good chance to step up, and there's a lot to like in there, and I'm fascinated to see what he's going to do this season.